Fun and electric vehicles. Many or probably most people in the car community don't like to hear these two terms used together, but Callum is here to change that. Hey, I'm Creech and this is Creech and Cars. Today I'm going to be going over everything we know so far about the Callum Sky, which promises to be the ultimate electric vehicle. I'll go over the exterior and interior design, as well as the mechanical and performance specs. Then I'll go over pricing and release details and give my opinion on whether or not the Callum Sky can succeed in disrupting the market for fully electric vehicles that are fully fun. This is Startup Showcase where I take a look at new startup car companies and their models, so make sure to give the video a like to see more. Before we get into it, let's go over exactly what Callum as a company is. Callum was started in 2019 as an automotive design and engineering firm and it was formed by Ian Callum, the lead designer for undeniably beautiful cars like the Aston Martin DB7 and Vanquish as well as the Jaguar XK and F-Type. In the company's brief history, it has developed a few interesting projects like the Nyabolt EV which is essentially an EV swap Lotus Elise and the Vanquish 25, where the company is offering 25 bespoke reworked examples of the Vanquish that was designed by Ian Callum. And now Callum is offering the Sky, and at a first glance, it's not exactly clear what vehicle segment the Sky fits into, and that was intentional. Callum's managing director says that the Sky addresses a void in the market and gives owners a bold and beautiful vehicle with exceptional capability both on and off road. While it might look like an ATV, Callum prefers to call the Sky a multi-terrain vehicle and with that being said there are two basic versions to better fit the needs of a particular driver. The capable version of the Sky maximizes off road capability for those who need it most while the dynamic version offers a balance of high-end performance for on-road driving and some light off-roading. Taking a closer look at the exterior design, we can see something that looks really experimental but not unrealistic either. Bumpers are always an area of contention with regulators, but I think Callum has really done it right with the front bumper that sticks out but doesn't look stuck on. This allows the fenders to only cover the tops of the tires and provides an excellent approach angle. The black grill-like portion houses the Callum logo and the thin LED headlights. The front and rear windshields are long and steep with a black roof that blends in with the glass. The doors show a large piece of glass bisected by the body panel and Callum says this gives the driver an unparalleled view of the ground around the vehicle to improve visibility off-road. The capable version has some meaty BF Goodrich all-terrain tires and the dynamic version has a more all-season oriented setup. The rear has a light bar and is mostly accented in gloss black with Callum written out across the back. One really cool feature back here is that the rear glass is removable and the sky can basically turn into a mini pickup truck once the glass has been removed. As for the interior, Callum hasn't provided a proper look just yet, but we do know that it will be a 2 plus 2 layout and that will make it pretty tight as the sky is only a few inches longer than something like a Miata, but the electric powertrain does allow the interior space to be stretched out a little more. I would also expect the sky to have little resemblance to the British luxury of Ian Callum's past and be much more rugged in its overall approach. The Sky will have solid performance numbers with a 4x4 powertrain absolutely necessary for an off-roader. The Sky is light and weighs just over 2,500 pounds while also offering near-perfect weight distribution. This was accomplished by using a steel and carbon space frame so that the Sky still offers the benefits of a body-on frame construction while saving weight. There's a more than capable suspension that offers 13.7 inches of ground clearance and 21.7 inches of travel. Of course, given the small footprint and light weight, the Sky has a smaller battery pack that comes in at just 42 kilowatt hours. And here lies the biggest downside of the Sky as an off-roader because that means its range is only around 170 miles. Range will be a problem 
for a while with off-road EVs in general, but unlike a Rivian or something similar, the Sky could easily be towed out to a trail and provide a day's worth of off-road excitement with a full charge. Callum also promises a 0-60 to time under 4 seconds, although I would assume that is for the more road-oriented dynamic version, and this means the model should have around 300 horsepower, although Callum hasn't given us a specific number just yet. Testing of the Sky will begin in spring of 2024, and Callum plans on delivering the first examples sometime in 2025, with each one being hand-built at Callum's factory in Warwick, England. As for the price, Callum has really only said that it will be less than the $600,000 price tag of the Vanquish 25 project, so don't be surprised if the Sky is in the realm of three to four hundred thousand dollars. So with all that in mind, will the Callum Sky actually be produced and sell well in the off-road market? I think sort of is the best answer here. I don't think the Sky is going to take on the Jeep Wrangler or upcoming Recon or the Ford Bronco and be some sort of mass market electric off-roader, but I think there are a couple of cars that feel really similar to the Sky in terms of market position, and those are models like the SCG Boot, Aerial Nomad, and Local Motors Rally Fighter. These are indubitably cool and the type of car you just can't hate, but they are low volume, high ticket cars made by companies that would even have the capability to mass produce them at a lower price. Ultimately, the goal of the Sky isn't to really disrupt the off-road market and bring the Callum name into the mainstream, but to prove that Ian Callum and his design firm are the real deal to the automotive world, which will be infinitely valuable to the business. And even if Callum only ends up building and selling around 10 examples of the Sky, it can still accomplish this goal. So there's everything you need to know about the Callum Sky, the ultimate EV, both on and off road. If you like this video, give it a like as that helps the channel out a lot and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. This is part of a series on the channel called Startup Showcase, where I took a look at new startup car brands and their models. Check out the Startup Showcase playlist for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.